Over the past decade or so, food lovers from across the world have come to fall in love with Shanghainese soup dumplings, or as they're known in China, Xiaolongbao. These little soupy bundles of joy actually originated down the road from here in a place called Nanshang, but chances are you've heard of them because of chains like this. Now, if you clicked on today's video hoping to find out where the best Din Tai Fung in Shanghai is, you're out of luck. Coming to this Taiwanese chain in this city, I don't know, it's kind of like going to Pizza Hut in Rome. So for today's video, I'm gonna take you around to some of Shanghai's most local, most authentic, and most delicious Xiaolongbao places, and I can guarantee you whatever they've got on offer there is gonna blow these guys out of the water. First stop on our tour of Shanghai's best Xiaolong Bao restaurants is Fuchun Xiaolong. It's located pretty centrally. It's no secret that it's my favorite dumpling shop in the city, and even Anthony Bourdain has eaten here on occasion. So let's see what they've got to offer. So here we are with the Xiaolong Bao that I ordered. So these are actually the biggest dumplings that we'll be eating in today's video. But one of the things I like about Fuchun Xiaolong is the skin is quite thick, but not so thick that it's, it becomes chewy. The thickness of the skin also means that it holds a lot of soup that you can see kind of jiggling around here. This part of the dumpling is all meat as well. So when you put it in your mouth, it's just a real kind of explosion of flavor. There's no spoon here. I'm just gonna dip it in the vinegar and then just pop the whole thing in at once. There's a lot of debate online between people talking about what's the right way and the wrong way to eat xiaolongbao. Personally, I don't think there is a right way or a wrong way. You just have to look around the restaurant and see like, every Shanghainese person in here is eating them differently. Having said that, I have actually heard that this is the traditional way to eat them. The next choice is Jia Jia Tang Bao. It's kind of a Shanghai staple, very popular here. You might have seen uh, food people like Eddie Huang when they come to Shanghai. They always come to Jia Jia Tang Bao to do reviews. They're famous for pork dumplings and crab and pork dumplings, but to mix things up, I'm gonna go for the crab and pork, see how that tastes. This is Jia Jia Tang Bao's menu. These little red tags are actually very useful. So as the day goes on and they sell out of items, they just take them off and put them behind the counter. Uh, obviously it's all in Chinese, but if you can't speak Chinese, don't worry. They do have an English menu behind the desk. The Xiaolong Bao you find here tend to have a slightly thicker skin than those that you would find at uh, Din Tai Fung or Wan Shou Chai. Uh, also the crab meat in them is very, very strong. So even though there's pork in there, you can't really taste it. So in this instance, I'd actually recommend you get you buy the vinegar with ginger inside it because otherwise all you taste is crab and it's a bit overpowering. If you're looking for just pork meat dumplings, they do sell them here and they're very popular but usually they're more of a, a breakfast item. So if you come anytime after 11, they're usually completely sold out. Next up is this place, Zun Ka Lai. It's kind of awkward to find because it's in the middle of the stadium grounds for Shanghai Stadium, and it's between gates five and gates four. Trust me though, the journey out here is definitely worth it. I'm gonna show you what they look like. If you're a big fan of Din Tai Fung style of Xiaolong Bao, Dun Kalai is probably the dumpling shop to visit in Shanghai. These dumplings have a really thin skin on them. They hold a lot of meat and they pack a lot of flavor for such a small package. The vinegar as well is not like the normal vinegar you will get in dumpling shops. It kind of tastes like they've mixed in a bit of soy sauce. Just amazing. Last, but definitely not least, we are outside Wan Shou Jai. This restaurant is a bit more difficult to find than all of the other choices from today, but it's definitely worth it. This is a Shanghainese staple that specializes in Xiaolongbao. Let's go check it out. These are Wan Shou Jai's uh, Xiaolongbao. One of the things I really like about them is the skin is thick enough to hold a lot of soup. It also has quite a bit of meat in it. It's a good meat to soup ratio, and the skin, it doesn't feel stodgy in your mouth. The soup in these dumplings is quite sweet, which is more of a kind of Nanjing or Wuxi uh, kind of style, but it works really well in this format. So there you have it, the Shanghai Expat Guide to the city's best Xiaolong Bao places. For more information about Shanghai or China life in general, follow us on Facebook, WeChat, Twitter, or YouTube. And until then, I'll see you next time.